I'm always talking about content optimization, SEO, and improving the content on your site. So today we're going to take a look at a product that actually is in closed beta. It's called BIQ.cloud is the website. So stay tuned for this one. It's in closed beta, but I was pretty impressed. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Balls here with another video. And today we're going to talk about this product called BIQ.cloud. I'm not even sure how to how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to call it BIQ for now. But I, I, I can't remember why I signed up. Uh, well, I know why I signed up. It was always, it's about metrics, optimization, SEO, content, keyword intelligence, ranking intelligence, rank tracking, all the things that we talk about on the podcast that is really important when you're using a inbound marketing strategy. So I just got the email to sign up to their closed beta and you know, beta software, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Um, hopefully this goes well and I post this video. If it goes too poorly, then I probably won't, won't do that. But let's go ahead and set up a brand new account and take a look and see what's inside of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my techsmartboss.com email and give it a password and sign up. Now, I always sign up with email. I don't use social networks. If you get banned by Facebook and Google, what's gonna happen to you? And it pops me right back in. So of course, you know, onboarding and things like that, this is closed beta. It's not gonna have a big old workflow to walk you through how to use the product. So let's, I can see right away, they've got a, a clean navigation system here. Keyword intelligence section, content intelligent, rank intelligent, rank tracking. And then pretty nice that they got a bunch of coming soon things here. So I can kind of see there's a lot of cool things that they have coming. Just to click on, click on these buttons here and see what the, where this takes us. So it talks about the beta launch. It looks like it's a blog post. I'm not going to look at that right now. Let's see what happens if I click on here. Same thing. goes to the same page. So I could go through and read that, but you know how I do. I like to just click around and see how things work. So let's take a look at keyword intelligence. So right away, this looks pretty straightforward. I'm going to put a keyword in here and it's going to start to generate all the related keywords content. Let's, let's go ahead and put one in just as an example. And I'm going to, I'm going to just do one that I work with a lot, which is business intelligence. Uh, which is my primary uh, business. You can put location based, you can select language. And I went ahead and hit submit and I can see that there's some activity going on that is going out there to find all of the related keywords. Now I can see by the column headers, it's gonna give me you know, standard information about volume, cost per click, here it comes competition, intent. Intent, that's a nice new one. So most of the intent behind this one is informational. It gives me uh, 301 related keywords. This is, a, is an aggregate among all those keywords. So this is actually giving me uh, a set of long tail keywords that I can start to target. And there's a lot of traffic right there across all 301. Let's take a look at some of these. And I can see the main one. That looks about right. Highly competitive. I would say that's actually probably a little bit low, 57. Uh, but then I can see examples, wiki. So these are pretty good related keywords in my space. Let's see, I should be able to sort by these. Yep. So that looks pretty straightforward and standard. I can see a trend line. Now let's take a look at some of these other tabs. Content ideas. Now this is a one that I'm always looking for new ideas. If you, I've been writing on this topic now for almost five years. So it's hard to come up with new content ideas to hit some of those long tail keywords. Let's see if it brings me back any decent content ideas. So you can kind of see that it's it's churning. You know, it, it's not giving me a zippy response, but I will say that the responses that it gives you, they, they look pretty good. So let's actually, it look, looks like a lot of zero volume, but it's nice that they tell me that. But if I sort, yeah, I just did an article on data, data scientists just recently. So I'm tapping into that one. But you can kind of see that it's giving you some good information here. And I can go and look at all of those things. And I, I think there's some filtering that I can work with here as well. So that's pretty good. Now, popular questions. I'm always big, you know, if you listen to our podcast, some of the bigger wins that you can get in content marketing 
is when you target those questions that people will ask. What's the best? How much does X cost? What's the value of this versus this? Review questions and things like that. So let's see what that now. Notice this says questions and answers. And, and actually, this is this is unique. I haven't seen this in other tools. It's actually giving me pretty pretty good questions here. Posting the answer. This is probably the snippet, I guess, that's coming from Google. And a link. Let's actually click on that and see what that does. Yeah, it takes me to that that link so I can see a little bit more about that. So this is actually really good for those content ideas. Is just to take these questions right here and start to build articles on them. And let's take one last look here at the last tab, trending searches. And uh, again, I can sort by volume or, or by click here, cost per click or by competition and see what uh, what I got here. So keyword intelligent seems pretty solid here for beta keyword like business intelligence that 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 worked out pretty well so I'm happy with that let's let's move to content intelligence okay so it says insert a URL and the target keyword analyze 25 okay interesting so I've got, I actually got an article that I posted recently let me go ahead and paste that in here and my keyword on this was embedded reporting and let's take a look and see what it'll do so again it's going out there and starting to have the have the rats spin the wheel. To, I guess the hamsters. I shouldn't be so graphic and say rats. Um, but I can kind of see here it's it's got a couple sections here that line up with the sections here. Word, vector, SEO, keyword, and fundamental are tabs here. And here we go. We got something. And, okay, I got a B on readability. Senior high school, 10th grade level. That's 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 good. Gives me my word count. My density keyword density positive. I'm pretty positive in this. So my word vector, I got a 92. I did a great job. Pretty impressed with that. I got one important note here, and it says um, section 12 is is bad. What else I got here? Section four needs some improvement, and everything else is up. Now, what are these sections? Let me take a look here. Looks like it breaks it, it breaks your content into sections, which is pretty interesting because. I can kind of see here it's got multi it's not breaking it up by paragraph it's actually got some other logic built in on exactly how it's doing that it looks like it pulled the bullet points in this so I've got A's and it look, really likes bullet points readable by nursery school so that that's pretty good what's section 12 let's see okay, okay that's just my call that's just the, the bottom part so it just pulled in some of my you know some of your last type of things there so you know that's that's not bad i like the way it, it it brings that in let's take a look at these other segments so when i click here is this the same as clicking here yeah i think it is so now i can improve quite a bit on that keyword actually i i, I kind of made that keyword up that wasn't really what we were targeting but i can see here that it's too low because i didn't really use that throughout the too much uh it's not in my meta description oh it actually pulled in my meta description which is pretty interesting and um uh, it's got some really good uh, keywords. Okay, it's got some good tags here. So this is um this reminds me a lot of what we get out of text metrics, which is a video we did on 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 web text tool. Um, and then fundamental SEO. I just got to shorten my meta. I I know. And then uh, a couple just increase uh, the length of my content is all right, but could be improved. Uh, and it says I could add some more images. Yeah, I, I don't do a lot of images in my text. But then it's got some other good optimized things. So that's nice. Let's take a look at rank intelligence. It says here, select or create a profile. All right. So I'm going to... Oh, something happened there. Let me try that again. All right. And my location, United States. I'm going to put in my primary website that I just took that blog article from. And okay, well, this was moving pretty snippy here. And looks like you first create a view, and I can set up all sorts of parameters how far I want to search. I'm just going to go, I'm going to set the defaults for now. I'll come back, and it looks like I can make another view later. Let's create this view. And then I'm assuming in the view tab, we'll be able to take a look at this. What's nice is I can, so it says to view all your total cost would be $3.32. Interesting. Now, so. There's a cost element here. Now, this is closed beta, so I don't even have my credit card or anything in there. Let's 
create that view and see if it complains yeah so unable to create that view so there is some element of costing there on that um, so maybe we'll come back and look at that a little bit later but it looks like I can create profiles and start you know, three dollars and thirty three cent wasn't too bad to to come in and do rank intelligence across three thousand keywords so that's something to take a look at as well then I got the rank tracking and again looks like this is something where I can put in a website let's do that and see what happens on the rank tracking side of the house so I'm able to come in and add keywords so this looks like your traditional tracking of keywords uh, <clears throat> I have not seen where it's tying me into the Google search console which is what a lot of products do to pull theirs in so they're doing it some other method here let's, let's just add a keyword to track here and, and see how this particular section will work I clicked off of it and now it's let's go back and load that profile again okay there we go let's add a keyword and I'm just gonna add that I'm gonna add embedded analytics as the keyword and it says I could format multiple rankings so I could actually link to some keywords and some pages here which is uh, pretty cool I got my website there let's track my ranking on that and it's going out there and um, pulling in data so that's pretty that's pretty cool there it is uh, and no gain at this point I'm kinda way out the average position it says here let's see if it, so it's actually looks like it's doing this based on that one home page that I put in which wouldn't be the page that I would track for that particular um, keyword so it looks like when you add that keyword you do add a particular page that you want to track for that keyword so this takes a little bit of thought process uh, in terms of setting up overall I would say this is pretty impressive looking especially for a closed beta where you know that it's going to get uh, a, a lot better and then you can sort of see that they've got site intelligence link intelligence markup intelligence team management and community type of features coming I mean right now the biggest value I see is in the keyword intelligence and the content intelligence but definitely I can play with this rank intelligence and the rank tracking a little bit more as well so it's closed beta you actually can go out there and sign up probably now and get invited to this globe. yeah it looks like it's kind of open for everybody they're just saying it's closed beta so check it out biq.cloud and if you like these kind of videos definitely subscribe to our youtube channel check out our website techsmartboss.com and stay tuned for the next video